Ladies and gentlemen, when the sun acts weird, earth weather acts weird, and people get kind of crazy. And that is not the sun we are looking at. That is Beetlejuice, and it dimmed and deformed over the last year. I am a firm believer that empires rise and fall on solar maximums and solar minimums. And there is no doubt that we are in a pretty deep solar minimum. And the last solar maximum we had was double peaked. And so its peak of the maximum didn't arrive until 2014. And people thought it was going to arrive somewhere in 2011, 2012. And so things have been strange absolutely without a doubt. In early March of 2019, a dozen scientists descend on the National Center for Atmospheric Research here to predict the sun will peak will reach its peak and how unruly it will become. And so the Solar Cycle 25 prediction panel came to an order last year. NASA and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration have sponsored these panels since 1989. And the problem is that no one in this room, being NASA or NOAA, really knows how the sun works. So no one in that room or anywhere else knows how the sun works. And so that includes YouTube. So even though the truth community is like 95% grand solar minimum, um, I, during the seven and a half years of Thor News, I've been like, look, dude, nobody understands the sun. Nobody knows exactly what the sun is. And no one knows what the sun is going to do next. And so... Um, like I said, I believe in solar minimums and solar maximums and their effects on everything. I lost my papa during a solar minimum, and then the next solar minimum, I lost my dad. And then the solar minimum after that, in 2018, uh, I lost my stepdad. So, horrible things happen, and we had the plague break out during um, this solar minimum. And so, uh, the 1660 plague that broke out and killed millions of people that happened during the monitor minimum and then the 1918 plague happened during a solar minimum and this plague has happened during solar minimum and so i do think that uh we will get help as human beings on earth when solar maximum kicks back up the sun gets active and we get a larger dose of cosmic and strong solar rays but nobody knows when solar maximum will get here and nobody knows how strong or not strong it's going to be even though you know you, a lot of people agree that we're going back to some type of a monitor minimum or like a grand monitor minimum or even a dalton minimum i think we're going to kick it back up and it does feel like a fighting of the wills where i don't know some people i guess want things to say crappy for a long time and some people want things to get better. I definitely want things to get better. And I think a solar maximum is going to happen. And it's going to help that a lot. I don't hate people, but man, I hate the solar minimum. And a case in point, what I like to make, where that like, not only do we not only understand the sun, but we have a giant star field that surrounds us. You can step outside of your house or your apartment or your tent and check it out every night as the stars rotate above us. And so one of the biggest things is that like in the, within the last year, Beetlejuice totally dimmed so much so you had half the astronomy community talking that it was going to explode in a supernova. It was just going to dim until it exploded, but it didn't explode. I didn't think it was going to explode, but it definitely deformed in what I would usually call a sun baby. Maybe it gave birth to a gas giant or another star or just a giant huge comet. Who knows? But Beetlejuice has been kind of a good example of not only do we not understand our sun, really. I mean, if we really understood our sun, we would have solar power because nobody disagrees that the sun gives out enough energy in a single day to power everything on Earth for the whole year if we knew how to harness it, capture it, contain it. And make it work for us and as a matter of fact there were a lot of videos or i'm sorry films in the 1950s or 60s that talked about the natural progression of all technology would be 
that almost everything would be solar powered by the year 2000 and that there were no excuses for humanity not to get there but we hit a uh, economic wall that forbid any type of progression of real technology and then it totally got rid of rock and roll completely but that's a whole nother video so we had a solar maximum in 2000 and then in 2006 nasa initially expected a solar maximum in 2010 or 2011 and thought it could be the strongest since 1958 however solar maximum was not declared to have occurred until 2014 and even then it was a double peaked minimal solar maximum and it was one of the weakest on records but that just proves in my i mean there are so many things that say nobody understands the sun nobody knows what the sun is going to do next and not only does the star field around us have a major difference on the sun a major effect i'm pretty sure the planets do as well um and so 2020 is uncharted waters and i believe without a doubt nobody knows what's going to happen next although a lot of people like to think they know everything not only what's going to happen today but 10 years from now one year from now and so i do believe things will get much better when the sun wakes up and i will be praying as a christian that the sun will wake up and things will improve for all people in the future and let me just say yeah it's probably easy to sell a grand solar minimum during uh solar minimum but i i would like it'll be interesting to see how that goes in a solar maximum and i don't hate the guys who've been selling a grand solar minimum forever but you know i just think it's okay to have differing opinions on things especially scientifically uh where nobody really knows and there are no maximum experts on things like the sun and technically there are no even real experts on the moon we know so little about the moon we got there and we're like hey screw this no way let's go spend um like 30 trillion dollars on everything else and then say going back to the moon was too expensive and the space shuttle itself was too expensive so we'll just get rid of it and then hand shit over to elon musk okay what was it talking about oh yeah and don't ever forget that in the middle of earth i'm pretty sure we have our own little sun that's what the earth's core is it's like a little sun and so you know that even this 11 year cycle which seems to sync up with jupiter Jupiter has 11 year orbit around Earth. I'm sorry, the sun. <sighs> Jupiter has an 11 year orbit around. And so the sun, and so it'll be interesting to see with Jupiter and Saturn coming together. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how that will affect the solar maximum we have. We have seen sunspots in, we had a point like a week and a half ago, the beginning of the month, we had three sunspots on the sun, and that's how they rank solar minimums and solar maximums, the amount of sunspots on the sun. And so we had three on the sun at once, two from solar cycle 25 and one from solar cycle 24, and I was in a good mood for like 100 hours straight. And then since then, I've gone through a one-week depression. I'm just overall disappointed in the collective high mind of Earth where everybody's like fighting to stay in 2019 and people just want to focus on a, an election that's six months away and nobody really wants to solve any real problems. And definitely nobody wants to t tackle architect architecture in a global fashion. And so, yeah, but it seems like, you know, this definitely, it is the mood of a solar minimum, a deep solar minimum. And so I am praying that we will get out of this in the near future and the sun and earthlings will work together to bring on the roaring 20s and so please when we do get to solar maximum things start to improve enjoy it and be grateful for all that we have so please know i am grateful for you um this is just a very conversational piece because i believe the sun which also happens to be a metaphor for jesus christ um if you're into that type of thing which i totally am it's it's a it's the biggest one of the biggest factors in our lives the sun and the moon have major components and this the 2020 story is not only going to be determined by the sun it'll be determined by jupiter saturn the rest of the planets and us us earthlings that 
Even though people like to tell you you're not very powerful and you don't have much of an influence or you don't make big waves, I am here to tell you oh, that's not true. I'm Thor, Thor News. And holy crap, I've been incredibly influential over the last 20 years of my life. And I'm proud of that. So, but I just want to say thank you to everybody in Astro Fight Club. And I love you. And thank you for being here with me during the solar minimum because we are all in this together. Holy crap, this plague sucks. And people's attitude kind of sucks too. And so with Solar Maximum, comedy will return and then hopefully rock and roll will return and things will get better. But if, you know, we do go into some super grand solar minimum where just sun stays flat forever, that means shit is totally going to suck. Things are going to fall apart. We'll probably get a Spanish Inquisition of technology, possibly even World War III and the death of billions of people. So I don't want that shit, bro. I want uh, people to start getting along again. I want plagues to go away. I want us to improve architecture, the family structure, uh, improve everything. You know what I'm saying? A thousand years of peace. That would be badass. All right. So it's just a conversational piece. And, uh, you know, me kind of saying, man, I can't wait till Solar Maximum gets here. I'll probably get to make out with pretty ladies again. Which is like one of my favorite things to do. And maybe hang out with dogs and horses and big laughter all the time. All right. So. Well, we'll stay tuned. And then, you know, as more sun energy comes, I'm sure my super badass edited videos will come back. Man, it's hard to focus on anything for over like an hour these days. I don't know if you're feeling that too, but like I said, I went through a pretty bad depression that I hadn't been through in like six months. And so hopefully I'm through it. We'll see though. Okay, everybody stay cool. And remember, it's okay to disagree on stuff, especially scientific theories on things like the sun or the stars, the planets. It almost feels like if there were experts on things, the whole world wouldn't really be falling apart as bad as it is these days. But whatever. Okay. Love you, baby. What are you wearing? I ask that scientifically. God bless everyone. Stay cool. May the force be with us always. And please, let us live long and prosper and improve everything.